everyone. Welcome back to Life Learning with me, Christy. Um, I am a full-time uh, student studying my bachelor's degree in education at WGU. Um, if you're new to my channel, um, know that my channel mostly talks about um, how to be an online student, um, but most especially if, if you are a WGU student. Um, today, I'd like to share with you some of my best tips and habits um, you know, for being an online student. Um, I think these will really help you succeed. Um, some of them are kind of small and a bit personal, but others are really, I think, major and key for finishing your degree. My first effective habit is to set a routine or schedule. Um, this is something that I've recently learned. Um, it's been very beneficial to me. Um, I usually time block weekly um, by using some sort of like schedule, whether digital or hands-on. Um, I also have a planner. Mine is digital, but feel free to use either digital or hands-on, whichever works for you. Um, I also recommend um, keep track of how long um, you work through a course. Um, I refer back to my schedule as often as possible. Um, take breaks, use a timer, I think is helpful. Um, if you have to fulfill other obligations that you may have, just try and kind of balance your life a little bit. But also leave space for flexibility because sometimes the unexpected happens, which is why a schedule must be able to adapt. My next habit is to maintain a healthy lifestyle. This means getting enough sleep, at least eight hours. Um, I highly recommend at least eight hours. Don't do at least seven. You need at least eight hours um, for a full workload. Wake up at a consistent time, even on the weekends, <clears throat> and go to bed at similar times too. I know it will be really ha uh, hard at first, but once you get in the habit and the swing of things, I think you'll be able to get it down. Um, eat real food and cook regularly definitely helps. Stay hydrated and cut back on caffeine. I have a rule where after 12 p.m. I'd stop taking in caffeine, whether that's chocolate or coffee or tea or whatever. This really helps me to go to bed at a good time and it also helps my natural sleep cycle. Exercise, take a walk, get some fresh air, bring some music or a book with you. Make maintaining a healthy lifestyle fun. My third habit would be to practice self-care. Use your schedule to fit in 30 to 45 minutes a day. This small amount of time within your day can make a huge difference. If you practice gratitude, maybe do something artistic or, you know, whatever it is that you like to do, read a book, use skincare, send outside, meditate, sing or dance. Even zoning out for a little while is great because it allows you to think deeply or just rest your mind. Sometimes I will just sit in silence and I find this actually very relaxing. Practicing self-care will prevent burnout, which is especially helpful for an online student who works year-round. My next habit would be to keep your study space organized. Reset your space by tidying it weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly. I usually do after I pass a course as this motivates me to prepare for the next one. Rid your space of old papers, dried pens, snack crumbs, etc. I like to wipe down my desk and uh, clean out my file folder notebook or binder if, if you have one. Uh, reorganize on top of your desk, clean um, the space area inside its drawers or shelves. I also love finding new cute decor to like put on my desk or space area. It just really makes me motivated. My fifth tip would be to keep track of your progress. This not only makes you motivated, but it will help you to achieve your goals. It will make you feel proud and you should feel that way. After all, you're celebrating your wins. I have a roadmap that will be free to you until August 4th, 2023. Feel free to grab it. If you're watching this and it's past the deadline, don't worry, it's very budget friendly. Keeping track of where you are and how far you have come is a great way to monitor your progress. Habit number six is breaking down your coursework. This one's very important. So remove distractions, plan ahead, 
use a timer to track how long you study. Um, set goals, maybe set an end, end date goal as well. Um, set a consistent amount of time for you to work on your coursework each day. Again, this will prevent burnout and procrastination. And when you have a growth mindset, you see challenges as opportunities rather than setbacks. It allows you to reward yourself and celebrate when you are successfully um, able to complete a, a course from your goals. Ref reflect weekly or daily. Um, unplug yourself from screen time or social media is also very effective. My last tip, tip number seven, is to ask for help. When using this habit, reflect on your mistakes. And if there's an area where you feel stuck, don't be afraid to ask for help. Reach out to an online community or social media groups, especially if you are a WGU student. Chances are there will be a student who has been in the same boat or similar boat as you, and they will be able to give you some guidance. Ask your instructor or mentor for guidance um, and additional clarity. Remember, you are paying for your degree, so it's important to speak up for yourself and receive that assistance when you need it. You do have the option of emailing them or scheduling for a phone call, completely up to you. Keep in mind that your instructors and mentor are within reach and want to help you succeed. You just have to let them know. I really hope this helps you as an online student, especially if you are a WGU student. Um, if you have any more questions or comments, just please leave them down below. Um, if I've mentioned something, I'll of course link it down below for you guys or probably up here if I really have. <laughs> Thank you so much for your support and liking and subscribing to my channel. It really means a lot and it just goes a long way. Hope everyone has a great day and talk to you all again soon. Bye.